At some point, we've all wondered what it would be like to go back in time. Here in Minnesota, you don't need to go any further than the Swinson Farm to get that experience. From turn of the century handmade shoes to hand to a handmade chapel, John Lawrenson shows us why this Chippewa County farm was also the location for an award-winning movie. Here's this week's Finding Minnesota. Imagine, if you will, a piece of land with nothing turned into a little bit of everything by the hands of a strong yet eccentric Norwegian. He was a unique immigrant, to, to say the least. June Linney is executive director of the Chippewa County Historical Society, and she's talking about Olaf Swenson. He built this turn-of-the-century 22-room brick farmhouse. The house itself is as if the Swinsons just left it yesterday. The foundation on this home alone is so massive, it quite probably took him 10 years alone just to, to build the foundation. You know, you look at them rocks that are in the basement there, by today's standards, you'd have one each of a time to move them. They did it back there with horses and a block and tackle. And it wasn't the only thing this father of eight built. He put up this timber frame barn. And they would have came in with their horse and wagon. He also made his own shoes. There's no arch or anything. There's no arch, no. His own family tombstones. Those are, you know, 130 years old. Even his own chapel on the second floor of his house. Wow. His congregation never fell asleep, probably because they were never there. Initially, his family and friends actually joined him for worship service. And one by one, they became disenchanted and they left. They may have left because the services were long and Olaf had what June calls Olafisms. This is Olaf Swinson's proposed amendment to the U.S. Constitution written in 1892. Olaf's amendment talks about workers' rights well before unions were a thing and prohibition decades before prohibition was a thing. He also unsuccessfully ran for governor, though he made good use of the picture. After his beloved wife died, he sent the photo along with a cutout of a bride from a Sears magazine to another woman with a note that said, marry me. I'm surprised that didn't work. I'm really surprised. <laughs> I, I am stunned too. But the Swenson farm isn't just known for history. Are you ready to get married? It's also known for the big screen. There was a huge amount of that movie that was focused right here because we could offer them so much in one site. Much of the 2006 movie Sweetland, starring Ned Beatty and others, was filmed here. Welcome, Inga. It's no coincidence that the movie was about European immigrants trying to make a new home in Minnesota. The interior was all done here, so the bath scenes that they showed was all done in our kitchen. The movie helped put Chippewa County and the Swenson Farm on the map. And that's the hope, to make sure there's a future for this little piece of history. That's part of our goal, is to make sure that the way egg history was continues to be told. John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. And John says the Swinson Farm Museum is open for tours every Sunday from Memorial Day weekend through Labor Day weekend. Every year, the Swinson Farm holds a horsepower event as well. And this year, it'll be held on September 10th from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. For more information, check out our website at wccr.com links.